Well, Congress returns from its Easter recess this week, but there's already the threat to remove House Speaker Mike Johnson. Johnson has only been Speaker for about six months. He took over after Kevin McCarthy was booted from the role. But now Marjorie Taylor Greene has filed a motion to vacate in response to the passage of a trillion dollar spending package. For more on this, I do want to go ahead and bring in News Nation's politics and economics contributor and former White House Chief of Staff, Mick Mulvaney. Mick, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Happy Sunday. Good to be here. Happy Sunday. All right. So with her threat to remove Johnson from power, do you really think that Green is a real threat here? Um, sure. Anybody is a real threat, uh, real threat, Kelsey, because of the, the, the simple margins. It's such a tight margin. The Republicans have, depending on the day, probably two or three more votes than the Democrats do. So at any given time, two or three Republicans could, in theory, um, bring down the Speaker of the House. Keep in mind, on a Speaker vote, typically, typically all the Democrats vote for the Democrat leader and all the Republicans vote for the major for the Republican leader. And so if that happens here, two or three changes from the Republicans could cost Mike Johnson his job. So it is a real threat in theory because of the margins. Whether or not it actually takes place, I think, is a, a longer discussion. You know, it's also interesting this week. We know that Green has called Mike Johnson a Democrat. She's also compared him to Nancy <laughs> Pelosi. What would another speakership vote mean for Republicans in an election year? Um, not much. Just it, it, nothing's going to change. What I think a lot of the Republicans who voted to challenge Kevin McCarthy in the first place back in January of 2023 and then got rid of Kevin McCarthy about six months ago, what they're realizing now was they didn't like wasn't Kevin McCarthy's style or his leadership or the results. It was the margin. You're going to get the same results because of the margin. They could put anybody they want to into the speaker's position. And when you only have a margin of two or three votes, it's very, very difficult to get much done. Keep in mind, we had difficulty uh, during the, the first half of the first Trump term when we controlled the, the Senate, the White House and the House by 30 or 40 votes. And we still had a difficult time getting our agenda passed. So I think many Republicans are starting to realize this isn't a personality thing. It's not a Mike Johnson thing, just like it wasn't a Kevin McCarthy thing. It's a math thing. And until they do better in the next election, it's not going to change. All right, let's go ahead and talk about this one. Moving to the campaign trail, of course, a lot of people talking about this. The Trump fundraiser, last night it raked in more than a record $50 million, but President Biden is still leading in campaign donations. Can Trump catch up to Biden fundraising? Will it even matter come November? Yes and no. He can catch up, but he doesn't need to, right? Everybody pays attention to the top line, but the, the bottom line in politics is you don't need to have all of the money in the world, and you don't even necessarily have to have more money than the other side. You have to have enough money to do what you want. So I'm paying less attention to that top line. It makes for a good story, don't get me wrong, and it does show enthusiasm, and we, can, and we track it for the right reasons, there's no question. But sooner or later, you have enough money to spend to do what you need to do. What's the difference right now? The Democrats are are able to open a bunch of field offices in swing states that the Republicans have not been able to do because the Democrats have raised more money. That's what really counts right now. Donald Trump had a great a great night. I mean, $50.5 million is just a, a bizarre sum of money to raise in an evening. He's going to raise a ton of money. Joe Biden is going to raise a ton, a ton of money. But sooner or later, it's not going to make any difference if they have more than the other. It's do they have enough to run the kind of race they want to run. And I think both of them will. Yeah, you know what's also really interesting is that the Trump campaign says that the event was, quote, VP tryouts. There were some very big name former rivals <laughs> in attendance. You know, could some of these front runners be Trump's running mate? Uh, sure, why not? I mean, my, my top tier has pretty much been the same for a while now. It's, it's um, Christy Nome and Elise Stefanik. Um, and then Tim Scott and uh, Ben Carson. Those are sort of my top tier. I, I don't see Doug Bergram. I don't see Vivek Ramaswamy. I see those folks, by the way, playing an important role in the next administration. But tell me what Doug Bergram brings to a Trump ticket that he doesn't already have. Tell me what Vivek Ramaswamy brings. That you're looking for something in a vice president to add. Why did Trump um, p take Mike Pence back in 2016? He needed credibility with the evangelical voters. What does he need now? He doesn't need what Doug Berger is offering or Vivek Ramaswamy. He may need, um, he may want to have an African American on the ticket. He may want to have a woman on the ticket. He may want to have somebody who isn't already running for president the next time, like at least Stefanik has not run for president. So uh, there's a bunch of different um, uh, possibilities. My guess is this. 
This will drag out as long as Donald Trump can drag it out because it makes for good ratings. It's wonderful to talk about. It's a great way to get the media to bite on some of his comments. Uh, my guess is it'll go all the way down to the convention before you hear him announce as vice president. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.